Have you met? You must have met Will Wheaton. You must. Have. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Is he nice? Yes, he's very nice. He's called in a few times uh, for uh, Desert Bus, which has been really cool in the past. I worked with him a lot on uh, Woodstock when I was a uh, producer and stage manager for that show. So right, we right. Woodstock. Yeah. I also produced and stage managed his surprise birthday party when he turned forty. Aww, cute. And it was awesome. And uh, Chris Hardwick was the whore, the yeah. host, the host, <laughs> the horse, and, as you do at a party. <laughs> And they had they were showing a slideshow of him when he was a kid and uh, a teenager, which was awesome because there's a lot of awkward teenage photos for Will. Mm-hmm. And um, Debbie Gibson's song came on and was playing, and then um, and then halfway through the slideshow, Debbie Gibson jumped out and sang the song, and it was really cool. Wow, yeah. it's lovely. Yeah, so it was it was a great memory. Is Woodstock where you got the name Damn It Liz? Is that? Uh, actually, no. I mean, it's definitely where I, I cemented my legacy <laughs> as Damn It Liz. Um, I actually got the name uh, at my first PAX as an enforcer. Um, I worked very hard to get into the events industry, and at that time I, I was volunteering for every, um, every convention I could find, and I wanted to get into PAX, but uh, it was really difficult to break into. Uh, so I figured out that in 2010 they were opening up a PAX East in Boston and if I figured that they couldn't fly all of their enforcers from Seattle to Boston so I said I'm going to fly myself out there and volunteer and then be um, the best enforcer ever and then they'll want me back. Um, so I uh, was that and it was amazing and I met Paul and Storm who were backstage and we did a, a sound check and uh, early in the day and then they do the concerts at night after the panels and as we were setting up there was this ongoing joke that if anything oh there's a picture of me from the PAX East explaining yeah. the Liz dance um, <laughs> what year was that? 2010 2010 my shirt. holy moly um, and uh, so there's this ongoing joke that if anything went wrong on stage that it was my fault um, uh, and so uh, we cut to that night there search I'm blocking you. Yes, you are. I'm telling you something. Thank wow, that was so <laughs> rude of me. Thank you for calling me story. out. Rude. Um, rude. But it, yeah, there was this uh, ongoing joke that something went wrong, that it was my uh, Liz's fault. We'll blame Liz. And then we that night, the concert halfway through, uh, iPod shuffle or whatever we used back then, a nano uh, <laughs> broke. And they were like, okay, go out and tell them, Liz, that um, that, that we're going to go skip to the next song and come back. And I was like so nervous. And so I like went out to the back of the stage and they so they had to like stop what they're doing in this middle there's like 5,000 people in the audience and like turn back and then like come upstage and be like yes and I was like okay we're just gonna go to the next song and then uh, <laughs> they go back and they're like oh hey you guys all know Liz coming out here Liz and so I'm like terrified up to the front and they say hey we decided earlier today if anything goes wrong it's Liz's fault so something went wrong so on the count of three we're all gonna say damn it Liz one, two, three, five thousand people, two giant screens with my embarrassed face, and everyone shouted, Damn it, Liz! It's so nice of you to take that trauma. Yeah, and, 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 and I just absorb it. <laughs> when five thousand people shout a name at you, it sticks, and so therefore that's uh, what I became. And it was great because I didn't have an enforcer like code name, it was just like mm-hmm. Liz Smith. Uh, which is already generic enough. Uh, so now, for better or worse, you can actually uh, Google me. So uh, that is how I became Dammitless. And was that enough time? Johnny. <laughs> keep, keep stretching. Uh, and, keep stretching. Uh, so then as I was going to the food court the next day, everyone saw me and they're like, hey, Damn it, Liz! And I was like, that's me. Um, which means that there is uh, video evidence out there somewhere in the world of me being shouted at for uh, by 5,000 angry people. The only time you so ever... powerful. I don't want to say failed, but goofed. The only... Only time. Um, but ever. see, I was positioning myself. It was Once. a branding opportunity. Oh, yes. It was all on purpose. Do you sometimes deliberately make flubs happen so people can shout damn it, Liz, at you? Sometimes. Yeah? They're all intentional. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone. Every time that that happens, it's just because I'm like, it's me, hey. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, that was great. And then I got into Woodstock after that. I went to volunteer at the first Woodstock they did in Seattle, uh, just to hang out and say hi to those guys that I met. And uh, I remember they were very disorganized, so I kind of just like walked backstage and took over and started running. Yeah, <laughs> nice um, I remember being really. Insecure, and they're like, "Who are you?" Like, and you're what like, "What am I gonna do?" And uh, one of it was. Um, 
Frontalot's, MC Frontalot's uh, bass player, I think, said, no, no, Liz, you're going to be fine. By the end of this, you're going to be running everything, because I was super nervous, like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I, um, sorry, I'm distracted by engineering. Anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, as I showed up, I was like taking over everything and doing this. And then someone said, oh, yeah. Um, Paul just gave the big opening announcement of us doing the show, and he said, now, uh, Liz is in charge, so do what she says. So, like, within the area of three hours, I had taken over Woodstock and become queen goddess that runs everything. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I found my life purpose, and it is to tell people <laughs> what to do um, if they need a leader. So if you need a leader or an empress or you know, someone to tell you what to do and organize your things for my own um Pleasure, um, or you know. Are, are uh, you pitching a job yourself, or are you applying for a job here? I don't know. All right. Is this the second I'm time you applied to be queen? Yes. Well, uh, <laughs> I know that uh, we. I, I didn't make the the bus driver job, so I'm just gonna here. All right. Are we good? Hey. I think our I think our call is ready now. 